there and welcome at your guitar workshop. My name is Andre and uh, today we're going to do a song by uh, the Red Hot Chili Peppers called uh, Ready Made. Grab your electric guitar and let's get started on the first riff. Okay, let's get started on the first riff which is the riff for the intro and, uh, and the verse. It's very basic, we start off in 5th um, position, index finger on the 8th string and play twice, 7th position with your ring finger then play the 5th position again with your index finger then you play 5th position on the D string then you play 7th position on the A string with your ring finger and then 5th position with your index finger and then again 7th position with your ring finger And that is the first bar, actually first, second and third bar. So like this, three, four. Now the down and up strokes for this part, is it's very easy, you just alternate through. So you start with the down stroke and then alternate from there, so three, four, down, up. Now notice that when I go from the 5th position with my index finger to the 5th position on the D string with my index finger, all I do is just roll my finger over to the other string. But when you do that, make sure that when, I roll, when you roll it over, that it doesn't mute, or, or sorry, that it doesn't uh, press the A string anymore, because then you would get this. They sound together, and that is that's not good. So make sure that when you roll to the other string, you make sure that it leaves the A string and mutes it. Okay, so that's bar one, two, and three. The fourth bar, which uh, ends the riff, uh, goes like this. You play chromatically, uh, starting in fourth position on the uh, low E string with your index finger and then you just you play 4th, 5th, 6th and 7th position with index finger, middle finger, ring finger and little finger playing down, up, down, up then you play chromatically on the uh, A string starting on the 5th position um, so you play 5th 7th position with index finger, middle finger, ring finger playing down, up, down. And last tone that you play is on the D string with your index finger in 5th position and you play with an upstroke. So that last bar goes like this, 3, 4, Combine those, uh, those four bars and you've got your uh, intro and verse riff. So they should sound together like this. Three, four. Now, that uh, verse, of course, that intro riff is not the complete verse riff, but it, it's a pretty substantial portion of it. Uh, there is, uh, however, uh, another part played in that first verse. And um, it's actually exactly the same, only you play it in fourth position and you play it starting on the D string. For the rest, everything is the same. So, um, let's go through this quickly. Index finger, 4th position on the D string. You play it once. Then you play your ring finger in 6th position twice. Back to index finger in 4th. Then roll your finger, your index finger to 4th position on the G string with a down stroke. Then ring finger, 
sixth position on the uh, D string to fourth index finger back to sixth with your ring finger. So like this, three, four. And you play it down, up, down, up, down, up, down, up. You play that three times, like with the uh, intro riff. And then also here you get, you start to play chromatically, but now starting on the third position of the A string, and you play uh, third, fourth, fifth, to its sixth position with your index finger, middle finger, ring finger, and little finger, playing down, up, down, up. Going to the D string, starting in fourth position with your index finger, playing fourth, fifth, and sixth, uh, with index, middle, and ring finger, playing down, up, down. And the last note that you play, it's in fourth position on the G string, which is with an upstroke. So that last bar should sound like this. Three, four. So that variation part of the verse should sound like this. Three, four. Before you go to the first chorus, that chromatic riff is changed just a little bit. Uh, what has changed actually, that last note that you play in fifth position on the D string, you don't play it. So um, it goes like this, three, four, and that's it. So you don't move on to uh, that last, uh, last note. Okay, so for the chorus, uh, you start off with uh, a G chord, so you play bar in third position, uh, put your middle finger in fourth position on the G string, little finger on fifth position of the D string, and ring finger on fifth position of the A string. Like so. What you play, the rhythm, is like, uh, like so. Three, four. And the down and up strokes for that is uh, as follows. Three, four, down, down, up, up, down, up, down. Then we move on to uh, the A chord. So you take this G chord, move it up, two frets, and uh, you play uh, the same uh, rhythm, three, four, But you don't play the whole rhythm that you played on the G chord, so until here. And uh, then you make, with your ring finger, a slide to 7th position on uh, the E string. And then play index finger 5th position. And then middle finger 6th position, both on the A string. So like this. Then you land in uh, the last two bars of that uh, chorus, of that chorus riff, and uh, goes, that goes like that, three, four. What do you do? You play with your ring finger, th seventh position on the A string, twice. Then roll it over to 7th position on the low E string. Then play 5th position on the A string with your index finger. And then 7th position with your ring finger. So like this. 
Down and up strokes are like this. Three, four, down, down, up, down, up. Then you play fifth position D string. Then you play seventh position on the E string. Fifth position on the D string with your index finger. And seventh position on the e, uh, A string with your ring finger. So like this. Down and up strokes are up stroke on the fifth with your index finger. With your ring finger you play, here you play an up stroke, followed by a down stroke on fifth, and an up stroke on second. Now the following part, actually, um, when I listen to the song, there are, to me there are like two ways to play it. Um, I thought I heard him bending it, so putting your ring finger on fifth position on the sixth string and playing it like so. But, you know, it can also be um, a slide to seventh with your ring finger. After that, playing fifth with your index finger, and then third also with your index finger. All on the uh, low E string, of course. So um, that last part goes like this: three, four. Maybe I forgot to tell that that bend that you play here. I strike it with an upstroke, and that third position that I play with my index finger also play with an upstroke. So you bend it, release it, and then play the third position. But you can of course also play that slide version, whichever you prefer. So, altogether, that uh, first part of the chorus should sound like this. Three, four. So the last part of the chorus, um, you find a variation on uh, on the riff. What do you play? Goes like this. Last two bars of the chorus go like this: three, four. So until this, everything is still the same. So what do you play here? You make a slide with your ring finger from 7th position to 9th, then play 7th position, 7th to 9th on the D string of course, then play 7th position with your index finger on the G string, then play a slide from 9th to 7th with your ring finger, and then play 5th position with your index finger. That slide back and that fifth position are of course on the D string. So like this, three, four. Now with correct down and up strokes, three, four. So the last two bars together now, three, four. Three, four. 